Ooh. All right, here we are, starting off another camping trip late at night. Got the boy, Michael, over here again, and we're gonna get some redemption on the fish for him this trip, hopefully. <laughs> Unlike our last trip together. I just want Michael to catch a smallmouth. That's it. Don't tell him I said that. Anyways, this time we're not on a river. We're on the big old Saginaw Bay doing some bass fishing, and I was greeted with great hospitality. Got here late at night, two cooked burgers, and I'm starving, so we're gonna get to eating those. Really nothing can ever beat a burger, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I even need to do like an introduction as to what I'm eating right now, but we're just gonna eat breakfast. But good morning, guys. It is an absolutely beautiful morning out here on the bay. Sun is rising, super calm, and it is looking like a perfect day to go out there and hammer the largemouth, but you won't believe the upgrade my canoe just got. Michael, Michael rigged me up with his uh, old trolling motor here. Y'all ever see a canoe just popping out with a trolling motor? I don't think so. Yeah, no, that is a decent one. First fish of the day on the chatter bait. Oh goodness, that's actually, a, that's a good fish. Ooh. No! Fish. Fish. Get out of those weeds. There he is. Hey, it's a decent one. Not as big as the one I fumbled earlier, but it's all good. Finally landed a fish on the trip for the day. We both have been fumbling a lot, so feels good. See you later, buddy. Well, it's a little choppy out here, guys. So we're gonna we're gonna go figure something else out. Pretty much not even fishable from uh, a canoe and a kayak, anyway. I think I finally done it, guys. For lunch, we have the fettuccine chicken alfredo that I've been trying to, whoa, to perfect for like three months now. I rehydrated the noodles and chicken, and then drained all the water, and then put the cheese on top of the hot chicken and noodles, and it actually looks quite good. It's not bad. But I'm gonna try some spam burger from here from Michael, his big spam guy. <laughs> it's good though. We came to the pier tonight since it's still pretty choppy out here. Try to catch some smallies maybe. Always love a good smallie bite, so I hope we can make it happen. I had high hopes going into the spot because I've had much success in previous times of coming here, but for some reason today, the place seemed to be vacant of fish, which seems about right considering how the rest of the day went. But then out of nowhere... I just broke off on a fish. I don't I don't know what it was. It was a small bite. There's probably a fray in my line from hitting all these rocks, but it's not going very good right now. We just kind of sucked today. I mean, at least I caught that one bass, but it's been a rough day. <laughs> Chef MP. We got some venison steaks from uh, Backstrap last year's deer. Plenty of them. <laughs> and then we got some potatoes all uh, cut up in some foil and butter in the fire right now. So we're gonna eat pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I got me. Backstrap is my favorite cut of meat in the entire world, so can't wait for this. And also can't wait for like hunting season, so I can get some more. Whoa, that was not English. So I can get some more of my own, because I devoured all of mine. I just don't get how anyone can not like this. Here we go, like four hours later, the potatoes are finally cooked but they're cooked to perfection, so it is 100% worth the wait. It honestly, probably some of the best like camp potatoes I've ever had. Fueled up to catch biggins tomorrow for sure. 
Here I am, perfectly calculating the exact time I need to create the best golden brown marshmallow you have ever seen until... Oh my gosh, there goes the mellows. <laughs> golden brown gooey goodness some more, dude. Oh my gosh. chilly one today but we got up even earlier so we don't want to miss I was gonna say the bite but it's not really even about the bite it's just about the wind so <laughs> anyways we got pancakes coffee good breakfast and we're gonna slam morning number two out here and it is absolutely beautiful a lot less windy. We got the sunrise just peeking out and we're at a different spot. So let's crank them. There's a lot more vegetation back here. We can do some flipping, hopefully crank them. Despite how beautiful this morning was, the fishing was following suit with the rest of the trip. It has been two hours of flipping and we have had absolutely nothing. Well, Michael lost one, but that was just about it. So, you know, we're gonna impulse make a decision to go to that island over there that apparently has some rocks and maybe catch a smallmouth or just you know, kayak two and a half miles for nothing, but it's for the adventure, I guess. This was quite the ambitious mission we had in mind, but adventure is my middle name and it always seems to pay off. Oh my gosh, we were just trolling to the island. I was like, oh, I'm starting to feel a lot of something down there bumping, probably hitting rocks and sure enough, a fish. I, I let so much line out. This guy is like way out there. It feels like a good one. Well, oh, that's a good bronzy. This is already worth it coming out to the island. I love smallmouth. Come here, bud. Please, we just have to land them for the ego. Oh, in the net. Let's go, dude. I can't believe it. It worked. <laughs> Trolling the chatterbait. And a nice bronzy right there. Oh my goodness. This feels so good. It's all worth it. See you later, buddy as we have located the world's largest rock pile in all of Lake Huron, but somehow there is no smallmouth on it. And I think, I think I'm being lied to. This trolling motor goes slightly faster than mine, so we're just gonna hitch a ride real quick. This is great. This is great. After another rough day of fishing, it is time to go back to camp and eat our sorrows away yet again. But we have 12 jalapeno cheddar hot dogs. Do you think we can eat them all? Mm -hmm. We chilled out for a bit after devouring those hot dogs and we went back to the bay for one last chance. We started off the same as usual. I can't catch anything that swims. That's it, bring out the bluegill rod. We still wouldn't catch a bluegill, so that's why I'm not gonna try. Cause then I'd really just be done. Until I tied on a frog and tried fishing just a little bit deeper into the thick stuff. And I can't believe the outcome. Oh my gosh, don't come off. Please, don't come off. It's like a one pounder, not even. Yes! I've never been more happy for a half pounder. The redemption fish. I saw like a million bait fish busting. I was like, there's gotta be something over there. Sure enough, buddy came and crushed it. Look at that frog right in his face. All right, dude, now you have to, oh, okay. Here he goes, he's like, see you later. Stop talking about your dumb tacos. Let's go! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you didn't get skunked oh on the trip. <laughs> Getting emotional right now. <laughs> Work so hard for this, dude. See you later, bud. <laughs> he said yes, <laughs> screw you. You guys don't even know how like, Satisfying that feels that we both just caught a fish right now. I have had three bites and I finally hooked up on one. I think we finally found something. <laughs> on a frog bite too. This is what's up. Let's go, dude. Woo.
Beautiful bass, dude. Oh my gosh, it feels so good to finally catch some fish. Like I said, this was uh, the fourth fish that I have uh, had a bite on because I just suck and missed them all or stopped moving my bait or whatever. I don't know, Michael's trying to critique my fishing abilities. Like he knows what he's talking about. Anyways, see ya. <laughs> oh, there's a wake. Yep, there he is. Golly, dude. We found him. All it just takes is some exploration. Not a bad one either. There's literally nothing better than a frog bite. Beautiful bass. Oh my gosh, this feels so good. We actually are getting on a solid bite. I can't believe it. See you later, bud. Just don't ever give up, kids. That's a lesson on today. Don't stop believing. Watch this right there, that's the cast. Yep, that's... <laughs> Dude, this is insane. Oh my gosh. The morale change is just insane. Let's go, dude. Beautiful LMB. Oh my gosh, this this is amazing. I can't I can't even put into words like how awesome this feels. See you later, buddy. Be up right in front of me. <laughs> unreal. This is unreal. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That was insane. Just super grateful right now for this bite because this is this is what we needed. This is what we needed. See you later, bud. Well, off camera, I was trying to film some TikToks and I got a few more bites, but that was all that just happened. It was like a super short bite window, but it was absolutely insane. There's such a beautiful sunset and I don't even know what just happened, but like the whole morale of this whole entire trip has just like did a full 180. So that's awesome. All glory to God, man. It's crazy. Venison tacos, eating wild game this whole trip, and it's great. Much needed. Chef Michael. Got my personal chef for the week. He's good at cooking, not so much fishing. We already know we're doing s'mores again. I'm living it up on the last night. Pancakes, coffee. Next morning. I'm so hyped to get back out there and see if the frog bite's on fire again. There he is. Yup. <laughs> Starting off good, guys. That's what we'd like to see. Come here, buddy. That is a good sign. Took absolutely no time. I was gonna just whoa. Anyways, I don't speak English, you guys know that. Beautiful bass. See you later, bud. Let's go. There he is. Yup. Choked it. Took a lot of work to find this bite, but I sure do love it. See you later, bud. Makes it all worth it. There he is. Yup. Come here, bud. Oh, that looks like a better one. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that was probably my best one of the... <sighs> the probably the whole trip. There he is. Come here, bud. No, he's stuck on a lily pad. Get him out. Oh, he's running at me. He's running at me. Thanks for the bite, bud. See you later. There goes my only frog. Just broke off. What I assumed to be a bowfin. That was an absolutely massive fish. Yep. Well, just got back to the campsite here and packed everything up and we're ready to head on out of here. It was a great trip. Thankfully, we got on a bite at that end there. That frog bite literally made everything just that much better. But um, nonetheless, regardless of fishing, it was still a fun time. Always a good time camping. If you guys did enjoy this one, be sure to leave that thumbs up. And as always, folks, fish with passion. Uh -oh. Can somebody come and save me? I just want to know. I want to know.